Hi and welcome to Cooking From Scratch. In this video, we're going to be making pimento cheese. So to begin, we need one block or eight ounces of cream cheese. It should be softened at room temperature. And I'm just going to break it up a little bit with a wooden spoon and get it to be a little bit more soft and, and workable. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon paprika, and a half teaspoon of pepper. I'm not going to add any salt in this because the cheese is pretty salty by itself. And then I'm just going to combine the herbs into the softened cream cheese mixture. And then I'm going to go ahead and add one four ounce jar of diced pimento peppers that have been drained. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some mayonnaise. I use about a cup for this recipe. Uh, if you're adding more cheese, you might need to add a little bit more mayonnaise, or if you're using less cheese, use a little bit less mayonnaise, but it's around a cup. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add three eight ounce packages of shredded cheese. I like to use cheddar cheese and Mexican cheese blends, but you can use uh, whatever you like. And then I'm just gonna stir in our cheese, make sure everything's all combined. And I'm gonna put this in a container, store it in the refrigerator. I find the flavors tend to meld and it tastes a little bit better if you let it sit in the fridge for 24 hours or so. If you do let it sit in the fridge for 24 hours, you might find that you need to add a little bit more mayonnaise if the spread dries out and you can just add a spoonful and stir it in. And here's the finished product, pimento cheese. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe for more content like this.